Hey guys, Jacob here with Waterwell FAQ and I wanted to do a quick video on adjusting the pressure on your pressure switch. So in front of me I have two different switches, a Square D Pump Troll and a Simmons. Um, both are very good switches, um, both have some different features um, that I like uh, for each. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either switch and the adjustment on them is the same for both. So looking at um, these two switches, you're going to notice um, two nuts and two springs. So each one does something different on the switch. So if you look at inside the cover of your pressure switch, assuming the sticker is still there, it actually provides you with the instructions for adjusting these switches. Um, it's easy to get these out of tune um, if you get too liberal with the adjustments. And so I wanted to walk you through my process for um, tuning one of these. So this one is a 3050 and this is a 4060. And what I mean by that is this has a cut on pressure of 30 PSI and a cut off pressure of 50 PSI. This one has a cut on pressure of 40 PSI and a cut off pressure of 60 PSI. If I want to adjust the operating window, that 30 to 50 PSI window or the 60 the 40 to 60 PSI window on this switch, I adjust the main larger uh, nut. So by tightening it, I will adjust the cut on and the cut off pressures equally. So if I tighten it, I am moving that window up. So I'm increasing the pressure range. And if I loosen it on either one, I decrease that pressure range by an equal increment. So because there are a little variations between the switches and how much a revolution, uh, one revolution of adjustment uh, makes. I usually recommend that guys um, start by tightening down just one turn to start and then turning the power on, uh, drawing the water pressure down with the hose bib or some other means to decrease the pressure to get the, the pump to turn on and then see at what point it turns on and then watch at what point it turns on. Uh, turns off. That way you can see how much one revolution increased the pressure. Then once you know that, you can uh, more accurately adjust the switch um, for your desired application. So um, generally I see somewhere around two PSI per revolution, so I may adjust it four or five revolutions if I was trying to increase my pressure to 60 PSI on this switch or 70 PSI on this switch. So looking next at the smaller post, smaller nut here, um, that adjustment is just for the turn off or the cut off pressure only. So if I want to just change the pressure at which my pump turns off, I would only adjust the, the smaller spring loaded screw here. So with that, um, you may want to leave your turn on pressure, let's say at 40 PSI with this switch, but you might want it to turn off at 65. And so that gives you a wider operating range. So in that instance, I would only tighten down this screw. Um, and vice versa, if I wanted to lower my cutoff pressure from 60 to let's say 55, and I wanted my, my turn on for my cut on pressure to stay at 40, I would loosen this screw. So again, if you want to adjust the range from 40 to 60 or or 30 to 50 equally, you adjust this. Tightening it increases, loosening it decreases. And if I want to only change my turn off pressure, I adjust this, this nut. And again, tightening increases it and loosening it decreases it. So I hope that covers um, all your questions as far as adjusting uh, these pressure switches. And uh, if you found this video informative, I. I encourage you to like and subscribe to our page where we'll be putting out more content like this. Um, and also follow our website, uh, waterwellfaq.com, for more videos and our blog where we touch on other subjects, um, including product reviews and other tips and tricks of the trade. So, thank you.